candidate that even has some of the Democrats on his side. And as we've said before, and this is shocking, yeah. he's a gynecologist too. <laughs> he's two treats in one. No wonder he's my favorite Republican because, uh, you know, he could be the president. So please welcome 10 term Texas congressman slash gynecologist, Ron Paul. <laughs> Good to see everybody. I have to hit you with my first question uh -oh. because we discussed it in the uh, in the hot topics. I'm, I've read all of your stuff and I know that you want limited government. Get government out of my life, right? Good idea. What about Roe v. Wade? I don't want the government telling me what to do with my body. How do you justify well, that? I think the question is whether a baby that is unborn that weighs eight pounds, seventh or eighth month of gestation has any rights. Oh, is it a person? But what about the first month, or the, you know, when oh, okay. you usually so get an abortion? You're not for all abortion. I, I don't know. It would have so to come up in so the specific you, case. Then the line is, so you don't want me to do an abortion on somebody that has an eight pound normal baby? No, of course not. Okay, but the, so, but so if you're the, not for abortion, really. No, wait a minute. But if the woman wants to abort a, a baby at eight months, something's wrong, either with her mental state or her health. So the that- law, The law says they can do that. Yeah, but the law should- If, it mother, should, if it's her Body. Why Shouldn't can't she it be do between it? the doctor well, and the woman? That's, that's not the exactly the true, sir. That's, that's not exactly true. There is a limit as to when you can have an abortion. I believe no, that's the truth. All the way through the third trimester. I don't think. I don't they think so that anymore. Birth. Birth. Ray, think so yeah, that's anymore. right. Partial birth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Roe versus Wade allows it in the third trimester. It dictates to the doctor what he can do in the first trimester, second trimester, and third trimester. Mm -hmm. So it is the law of the land. So are you not against? Just you like Roe v. Wade, except up to a point. Is that? No, I don't like the federal government doing anything. Okay. So I want the states to deal with it. Oh, but what's that? If you're against abortion, what's the difference? Who's doing it? The states or the government? Well, there's a big difference because the Constitution doesn't give them. We, we, the, the states don't deal with murder and violence. Okay, and, so it's and not a moral law. position. It's more of a political it's a position. It's a legal position. It means that the it's states a legal, deal it's with a legal it. position it. because I honor and respect the rights of the mother, but your home, too. Your home is your castle. I don't want any government in your home. Right. No, no uh, searches without warrants. Right, right. Of course. No cameras. Mm -hmm. But you can't kill your baby in your home. Well, no, but that's murder. That's yeah. different. Okay, that's but somebody sees this. I have, as a physician, I've been trained to bring life into the world. Mm -hmm. And if I do harm to the baby, yeah. I get sued. So the well, baby me, is alive and has what rights? Well, let me ask you this. So, right? so course, that's a very yeah, unusual, right about, but that's a, such an unusual situation. We're talking about girls who are in trouble and they want to have an would abortion you be, in the first Would you month. be happy with a law that says abortion should be done no later than at six weeks gestation? But I'm not happy with abortion, period. You know, no, I don't nobody want, is. Nobody is, well, but that's, that's, the, that's not that's the point. The idea. But, but here's my question. If you make a decision that this is where you need to go, because as I said to somebody else earlier on this show, yeah. no one makes this decision lightly. This is not something somebody says, oh, I think I'll go get this. This is not a fun thing to go do. Yeah. So if someone has come to that place to make that decision, it's because they really feel like it needs to be there. Now, I think you should be able to get some help if you're reaching out for somebody like that. What bothers me is that there is no one who says, Here's what we can do because you know you, t you have all these children. What are we going to do with them? If everybody has the kids, nobody the churches don't want to take them. Nobody wants to put them in the in the thing. No, I want to finish that thing. Period. Right. Answer. Well, it, it, the question is whether abortion should be done on demand and and who controls it. What you're saying is a very difficult problem yeah, that we can right. deal with. And the more difficult a problem that we have, the more you want to have, be held locally. Before See, Roe happens? versus Wade, before it was legalized across the board, mm -hmm. on demand, states did. I, I, I saw it happening. Abortions were done on DMC. rare circumstances. Well, and it was Alex. done with caution. No, there was a recognition, well, yeah, was a recognition that life was valuable. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think anybody's going to win this. You're not even for abortion for anybody every time a minute before birth. You don't want to abort these no, normal babies. That's murder. At the same time, I don't think we'll ever reach a stage where there will be no abortions. Oh, we need but I want, I want to sort this out okay. the way I'd the like Constitution mandates, and that is at the local what level. Do you want to know? I, I, at the local I, I, level, you get girls from California or some other state where they can't do it. They have to drive from Arkansas to Timbuktu to, I mean, that, if it's left to the state level. That's I mean, true. there's, you know, that's true. and they've got to be if pretty rich, okay, and they've got to be right. wealthy. But we what? might not have any partial birth abortions, you know, of, of normal babies. Right, that's only one subject that we can get well, to with you. Well, the other subject. I wanted to ask about was your views on immigration. You said that you had a plan for immigration. You wanted to secure our borders. 
What's yes, I, I think our problem of immigration comes from the fact that we have a weak economy and uh, immigrants are scapegoats. And if we had a healthy economy and we weren't worrying about our jobs and we weren't worrying about the downturn of our economy, I think immigration wouldn't be nearly the, as problem as this. But I don't want to reward people who break the law. So I'm not for amnesty. So do you I, want people, I want people to come here legally. But if we had a healthy economy, I think the immigrants would be melt, much more welcome. But because we reward it and we put pressure on our states, our hospitals are literally closing in taxes because they can't afford the free health care and the free education. I so I want to remove the incentives. Let me ask you this. So now, if you become president, what's your stance on China? How are you going to balance that out? Because uh, there's a big old issue. And one of the things I've not heard anybody say is, here are the issues with China. This is what I'm going to do to make sure that the things that have been happening are not going to happen again. And the other part of this question is, if you feel so strongly about immigration, how are you going to get all these big companies in this country to stop shipping all the jobs across the water yeah. to other places and so people can get their jobs back and stop blaming it on the illegal immigrants? Okay. That's right. That's right. I would treat China like every other country. I want to be friends with country. I don't want to intimidate them. I don't want to put sanction on them. I want to not fight with them, and I want to trade with them. But the China probably is a consequence of a lot of our failed economic problems here. Our jobs leave because we overtax and we overregulate, and also it's a currency problem. We've been able to print money and export our money. Why work for a living? Why have production here at home if the world's still accepting our dollars? So why not just buy our stuff from overseas? That's part of the problem, except that's changing because the dollar's going down, and that is one of the most serious threats we're facing today in, in our economy is the weakness of our dollar. Is there another Republican? Now, you probably are not going to win, and you know that, right? No, no I don't know why that. Would, I'm no, sorry. Why I don't mean to be negative. I'm sorry, because it's very hard. He's got front runners all over the place. Is pro-war people to win? No, we I don't. don't. We don't. <laughs> I don't. That's why I like you. My question is, is there any other person running that you would vote for if you were not running yourself? Um, it would be difficult. Uh, as long as they... A gun to your head, who is it going to be? <laughs> when, you mean in the Republican primary? Both. No. Both. If, if right now, well, if they come around endorsing my anti-war views and pro-free markets and sound money, yeah, I would consider it, but I don't have anybody now that I could vote Nobody for. Nobody well, yet. I'll have to keep talking to them. Congressman Paul, thank you so much. We wish we could have more time with you because we got so many questions. And we, we just thank you so much. We will be right back.